today I'd like to discuss the negative side effects of kombucha. So, and really define that, right? Because um, it could well, in fact, be that a small percentage of the population is allergic to kombucha. Like, just like a larger amount of the population is allergic to wheat, gluten, peanuts, and things like that. Now, there's a lot of people that would say all an allergy is, is your body expressing itself that in its current environment, current situation, ain't working, right? So I know people that um, are, um, what is it, uh, lactose intolerant, right? But they make other lifestyle changes and um, they can drink milk, no problem. One of those changes is actually drinking kombucha because um, the idea of having probiotics and things that can digest uh, lactose um, is actually makes it so that they can drink milk. Now that's, that's just one example. I'm not saying if you drink, if you're lactose intolerant and start drinking kombucha, it will work for you, but um, just an idea to entertain that an allergy doesn't, isn't necessarily an allergy that you have, that you own an allergy, maybe currently the way your body is expressing something is allergic. Another way of saying that is perhaps um, a kombucha side effect could be a runny nose, um, going to the bathroom a lot, um, and that could literally be that your body is getting stuff out that it needs to get out that it kind of had in there for a while, right? Um, I always compare this, and, and again, this is a, there's a term known in the wellness community called a cleansing crisis. Um, people that have gone on a master cleanse before, which is just like pretty much drinking maple syrup and lemon, lemons and water, cayenne pepper, doing all that stuff, I did one, and I had a cleansing crisis, right? The first couple days, you feel like poop. Uh, you know, you, you're sweating, you're breaking out, all that stuff. But then, all of a sudden, the fourth, fifth day, you feel like a million bucks. So, the analogy is, is that if you're, you've ever cleaned your room where you just like, you know, throw your bed sheet on and take all your dirty clothes and just throw it in the closet and, you know, close the closet. It's like cleaning, but it's not really cleaning. When you're really cleaning your room, you gotta go through stuff. You gotta empty out things. In fact, it looks a little messier before it gets a lot cleaner. So the idea of a cleansing crisis is that sometimes, especially when we're doing something that we have not done ever, when we're incorporating something new into our body, the body needs to then take that stuff that's clean and get it out, okay? So side effects could be a runny nose, a headache, going to the bathroom, throwing up even, um, breaking out in rashes or pimples or things like that, um, swelling and things like this, okay? Um, now, if you're experiencing this and you feel like something is off, please seek medical attention. I am not a medical doctor, but here are some tips that you could do to help along your body getting out that stuff in a positive way. And those include, you know, um, lymphatic drainage, which is simply, you know, you can do a, a, a dry brushing. If you've ever heard of that, Google it. Maybe we'll do a video on dry brushing. Um, rebounding, jumping up and down. You don't even need a trampoline, just jump up and down. Moving, walking, exercising, drinking water, right? So you're getting these things out, but on your terms, right? Uh, all these things will help finally, okay? It's better to be a turtle than a rabbit if you're drinking kombucha and you're noticing some subtle side effects, not good, you know, not side effects like energy and feeling really good, but um, subtle side effects that aren't too good, well, simply reduce the amount of kombucha tea you drink at one time, okay? So better to have two ounces of, of kombucha, two ounces of kombucha three times a day than a half a gallon of kombucha once a week. To get even more free kombucha videos to take your kombucha brewing to the next level, check out getkombucha.com backslash free.